This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, February 12th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at noon today. We have some energy moving through the middle part of the country and a bit of some energy diving into the south. And that's going to be producing a lot of wintry precipitation down there. And around here we have a little bit of a clipper type system moving through that could bring a swath of some light snow accumulations maybe an inch or two at best highs today in the 20s to around 30 with the snow moving away here on Thursday a pretty deep low pressure center beginning to develop off the outer banks of North Carolina and the Virginia tidewater around here another system could come through may clip the state with a little bit of flurry activity Thursday into Thursday night and early Friday during the day on Friday skies will be partly to mostly cloudy as the storm will be moving off to the east, temperatures likely in the 20s to around 30. But then another snowstorm comes on Saturday. This one could also bring us one or two inches of snow, possibly a bit more, with readings likely in the 20s and lower 30s across the state, warmer southwest, cooler northeast. Then the winds turn southerly here on Sunday, so temperatures should boost well into the 30s across the state here on Sunday. With mainly sunny skies, we may have to look out for some fog at this point with melting snow. Another system comes through that will drag some more cold air down here on Monday. That could bring some rain and or snow as the temperatures will be close to or around freezing. So we could see some rain and then snow as cold air comes in. But Tuesday, the temp winds back out of the southwest. Temperatures back at or around freezing to maybe the mid to upper 30s south and west. Any precipitation in the northeast and then in the north and west. And then a week from today, next Wednesday, you can still pretty much see we're in a quick zonal flow from west to east. Some energy diving into the north and west. We have one system moving out of the Canadian Maritimes into the North Atlantic. And we still have southerly winds around here. That could boost temperatures into the 30s, maybe 40s. But we also have to worry about melting snow, which could cause some fog issues that could lower temperatures down. Going into the extended period on February the 23rd, that is a system to watch. We saw this on the models yesterday and the day before. It's still around today. It's a little further south, but this could be a storm we may have to watch that could bring us some snow and could be possibly some heavy snow if this is right, but this is still 10 to 12 days out, so we still have plenty of time to look at this and plenty of time for it to be gone from the model. At the end of the forecast on the 27th, Another trough digging in into the southwest and into the southern plains. Some energy over Texas, Oklahoma. Another piece moving through the U.S.-Canadian border region. And with that, if these two can link up, we could have another system around. We have some rain in the plains down to the southeast. A bit of snow in the northern plains, Minnesota into Wisconsin. Maybe a little bit of rain and or snow around here. We'll have to wait and see. Satellite image from last evening, we had the one storm moving across the western Great Lakes into the Plain States. That's going to bring us our snow later today and into this afternoon and tonight, or early tonight. Storm over the southeast producing a lot of wintry weather there and more clouds in the northwest. The watch warning map from last evening, a lot of winter weather issues, ice storm issues across the south, up the east coast. Some winter weather issues in the northern Rockies into the Cascades of Washington and Oregon as well. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock showing the main precipitation across the north and west, across the south and up the east coast. Around here, maybe a two to three tenths of an inch of liquid equivalent, mainly in the form of snow.